In this video, we're gonna get into a bit of conspiracy shit, just like you fuckers love. And we're gonna talk about things that people don't usually talk about. We're gonna talk about why knowledge is false, why you can't really know anything beyond what you currently know, and why actually deconstructing knowledge is the way that you want to go with this. So, first of all, let me give you a very shocking uh, realization. You don't really know anything, okay? You might say you know things, but you don't. The only reason you can say that you know something is because you have perceptions where you view something and then you say, okay, I can see it, but then that means that it's true. But who said that what you're saying right now isn't actually a dream? When you're dreaming, you don't know that you're dreaming. So when you wake up, how do you know that now you're awake? You can say, oh, it's because of my sense perceptions. I can see what's happening. But again, you can't really know that because even what you say you're seeing isn't really you seeing it. It's more the perception of viewing something. Do you get that? What that means is when you look at something, you don't actually see it for what it is. You see it through your eyes. I know that because I use contact lenses and eyeglasses because I can't see without them. So that just goes to show you, no, the world isn't exactly what you see. Also, the more sophisticated of you will actually see that in your life, you have various uh, situational uh, perceptions. So let's say you have a bad day, you're only gonna see really bad things and bad things are gonna just start happening to you all of a sudden. Let's say you have a good day, good things are gonna start happening to you. Now, I know this sounds kind of wacky, but bear with me. If you really look into this deeply and you really investigate this whole process, you'll actually see that nothing is feasible, nothing stays. Try to look at something and say, okay, this is gonna stay, this is gonna stay. Everything constantly changes. There is nothing that remains. The only thing that does remain is you as an awareness of things that are happening. So uh, just like in my previous video where I talked about you know, how you can go present and then you see that nothing actually works without, uh, with you, everything works without you and without any conscious effort, you can see here that everything is basically passing and that the only thing that is constant is you, or in this case, me, because I can't even be aware that you exist. So the only true type of knowledge you can ever have is that you exist. That's the only thing that is self-evidencing, that's always there where you can verify it for yourself. And we're gonna talk about this more in the next video where I'm gonna talk about seeing things through your eyes and not actually looking for secondhand information. That is the shift in my mind from being a fucking, you know, a retard, just like I, I like calling you, to an actual adult, where you don't just say things because you believe them or because they make sense, but you say them because you can actually verify them for yourself. And everything that you can't verify, you don't take it as fact, you take it as a situational truth. So let's say you think, okay, my life is fucked right now, that is a situational truth. That is a thought, and if you let it, let it take over you and you believe it, that's how your life is gonna look. If you say, my life is amazing, and again, it could be the same life with just two different subjective views, each life looks completely different. It's as if the matter itself is changing to uh, fit your perception and what you view. Now, one little experiment that I want you to try is go up to someone, start talking to someone, it could be your mom, your friend, even a stranger, and start focusing on different things while you're talking to them. Start fo focusing on your thinking and notice how the conversation turns into a lot more logical, a lot more awkward conversation. Start focusing on the other person and making them have fun and look how the conversation is going into a fun place. Try focusing on something like the silence. Let's say you hear cars moving, you know, the silence. Try focusing on that and see how suddenly your perception changes and that person's perception changes. Now that raises the question, is this really a person or is this just a reaction to my inner state? 
But this is a topic for another day, and I hope this educated you. See you soon.